we are now in the last question of the mcq part 15th one is the last one 16th to 20th will be the writing part so this is about inverse trigonometric functions they have also told about implicit differentiation i don't think so there is implicit in this but let me just uh, let you know what this is in a short uh, explanation and then we will go to inverse functions and i'll put a video for implicit derivations in the you know in the description so if you want you can click on it and understand more about it here we are we have a uh, few formulas that is the inverse trigonometric formulas that is sine inverse cos inverse tan inverse cot secant inverse cosecant inverse you need to remember these i don't think so this will be given in the exam you need to remember them now the easiest i personally feel is tan inverse okay because tan inverse it's better you write it down you'll understand it quickly tan inverse x it's just one divided by for all the three things i will tell you about this negative sign in a while but it's always one divided by by what in this case in the case of tan you can write it as one by x square or you can write it as one by x square plus one it's up to you but generally you will see one plus x square okay that is the form next over here you can see some have negative sign why is that the same thing that was said before holds whenever you have cosine or cotangent or cosecant there is a negative sign only when it is co but otherwise for sine tan and secant it's only positive signs positive ones but now what if it's a sine or a cosine the answer is almost same only the minus is different so i'll write it as cosine inverse x it's again one divided by for cosine and sine and secant and cosecant there is always integral okay sorry square root in this case sine it's just one first why because x is negative x square whereas in terms of secant inverse secant inverse sorry x it's one by i will tell the other part in a while square root x square is positive whereas one is negative this is the main difference in these so somehow try to remember sign it's just one number is first then minus x square here you have x as well modulus of x that means this number it can't be a negative number whatever even if it's negative three it will be positive three so this is the uh, this is the answers i mean these are the formulas please try to remember them they are very important and crucial to solve let's look into problems now sine inverse x cube plus one we know the sine inverse formula sine inverse x is given as one divided by square root of what one minus x squared now all you do is substitute the same thing but instead of x put this term it will be one divided by square root one minus instead of x uh, sorry instead of x term i have used the bracket and write x cube plus one the whole square okay because x square now instead of x we have this so we write it but it's not over chain rule derive this one it will be three x squared plus zero it's three x squared only this is the answer what about this one same thing one by square root one minus square root x the whole square multiplied by one by two root x that is the derivative of square root x now this this cancels you can write it as one minus x one by two root x i think so this is it uh, or the simplification let's see here three x squared is up above and square root 1 minus x squared plus 1 the whole square is written here it's the same thing 1 by 2 root x and 1 minus x okay uh, wait a minute this is some error over here uh, there's no uh, this square root yeah okay there is square root now look what they have done is what we had done 1 by 2 root x is separate this x is taken inside this so this multiplied by this term okay x multiplied by this term because when you take them inside these both are multiplying each other okay they're not adding this two terms bracket multiplied by this term that's it 
this is how you simplify even over here you can easily use the calculator method take a random x value but remember that say 2 you take and then substitute x as 2 here and solve you'll get it okay let me just show it to you uh, let me do it for this problem you need your calculators for this all you need to do is shift dy by dx sine inverse is given by shift and sine square root alpha x okay close the bracket okay there are two brackets open to close now i will take it as two it's already in radian mode otherwise you have to press shift mode and four to make it to radian okay the answer is mm, now this is a good thing why the domain is of x for sine inverse is x can be only from minus 1 to 1 okay i think so it's mentioned somewhere see over here it can't be anything other than that why because inverse domain is basically the range of sine function the range of sine function is minus 1 to 1 but the domain of sine inverse is basically the range of sine that's minus 1 to 1 so i'll take 0 0.5 don't take 2 my bad oh let me take it as something more complicated like 7 5 okay even this is possible but if you go more than one it's not possible so i'll write it down x is equal to 0 0.75 and what is the answer we got 1.154700 it goes on now check the answer what was the answer here all you need to do is substitute x as Instead of x, you put 0 0.75. Multiply it with 1 minus 0 0.75. Close the bracket. And that's the answer. It will be, oh, wait, sorry. The answer is 1.547. That's it. But you are getting in 2 root 3 by 3, but that's fine. But if you press SD, it will be the same thing. Uh, what I what happened is I by mistake pressed the wrong button. I'll just do it again. It's one by two root zero point seven five. The answer was not exactly visible, but the answer will be saved, so you can use ANS to check the answer. Now this is the answer one point one five four seven. That's what we got. This is how we can check any trig uh, derivative problem. If it's trigonometry, you have to press it in radians. That's it. Please do these by yourselves. Over here, there is uh, the method. But okay, look here. There is chain rule. What happens is cos inverse is there, right? You apply the cos inverse instead of x. This is 2 by x. Then you need to derive 2 by x. That's minus 2 by x squared. That's the thing. And then if you can simplify, you simplify. Minus and minus becomes plus 2. And this x, what they have done is this simplification. It's very simple. The, the thing is, here both the sides you're multiplying by x squared okay uh, multiply and see this uh, take the common term I, I will just do it one minute i'll just do this part how they have simplified this so square root one minus four by x squared is there right and over here upside will be positive two and there is x squared outside so what's happening what, what basically can be done over here is you can take common term common term in the sense this will be a common denominator and you multiply this x squared minus 4 because this already has it otherwise another way to understand is you multiply and divide this by x squared so it'll be x squared by x squared and x squared x squared common you get this factor and i'll just write the denominator this is x squared now take this denominator outside because square root right basically you can write this outside but square root and square cancels you will have x square by x that is equal to square root of x square minus 4 because the denominator is taken out it will be 1 okay so this and this cancels you're remaining with x square root of x square minus 4 not plus 4 sorry minus 4 this is the answer so that is the simplification um i mean it's up to you but it depends on the options okay so if this is not there yes you need to go further to simplify here as well it's same thing please be careful with the chain rule after using the uh, you know tan it's very simple one by one plus x squared after that make sure you use root x derivative it's one by two root x and then simplify and write 
Same thing over here, it shall be minus 1 by x squared, simplify and write. Uh, now it's a little different. La uh, I will solve this problem over here. What's different here? Square root is the outer function. So first, what is 1, uh, sorry, what is square root derivative? Square root x. It's 1 by 2 root x, isn't it? Now instead of x, we have all this, but still it's fine. 1 by 2 root with all this information, write it over here, 2 plus tan inverse x. Multiplied with, this is the answer for square root. Now there is this term to be solved. Derivative of 2 is 0. What is the derivative of tan x? It will be 1 by 1 plus x squared. So this is the final answer. I hope this is clear. So that will be the final answer. It's 1 divided by 2, 1 plus x squared. It's a factor, right? So it's written 2 times 1 plus x squared then square root 2 plus tan inverse x. That's it. And here, here it's again chain rule, but just that it is e to the power x. Now, how is the what is the derivative of e to the power x? It is that same thing. Tan inverse x. Then chain rule says derive this. It will be 1 by 1 plus x squared. That's it. This is the answer. Okay, you can see this is up. This is the denominator. So even over here now you can see that they are trying to get the difference of secant and secant inverse uh, let's do this do you remember the secant formula even i'm rusty it is secant times tan i believe um, secant times i'll just check it anyways it's mostly secant times yeah it's secant times tan okay let me do it uh, what you do over here is apply there is this is the constant so keep it aside just leave it now solve it what do you solve secant is secant x secant x times tan x okay but now we don't have x so it will be secant x to the power 4 into tan x to the power 4 multiplied by what is the derivative of x to the power 4 it is x cube 4x cube now this 4 times 4 is 16x cube then these two terms cannot be simplified Secant x to the power 4 and then what is there? Where is it? No. It's hanging. Okay. It is tan x to the power 4. This is the answer. Now let's do the sine in, uh, secant inverse. 4 is a constant. Leave it aside. What is the inverse of secant? It is 1 divided by, I'll write it over here, secant inverse derivative d by dx is 1 by x outside root of x square minus 1 not 1 first for sine it is 1 first for this it's x square minus 1 now we write over here what is x it's not x it's x to the power 4 here it's it's positive so it's fine then square root of x to the power 4 the whole square minus 1 this is the answer now we have to simplify this oh sorry did I finish? No, this is done. Secant inverse is done. Derive 4x cube. See, even over here we had this. This is the same term. This is the same term. Only the middle term is different. So how do we simplify this further? It will be x to the power 4. Wait a minute. We can simplify this. x to the power 3 cancel. This 4 cancel. So you are remaining with only x over here in the denominator because x power 3 and x, x power 4 cancels off. x is remaining square root. x 4 times 2 is x to the power 8 minus 1. And 4 times 4 will be 16. I'll directly write it because I have to write it otherwise the entire thing again. So 4 times 4 is 16. This will be in the numerator. This is the answer. Okay, so this will be the, let's check the answer. It is 14, 16x cubed. This is the answer. Here it is 16 divided by x, x to the power 8 minus 1. Though it's the same thing, but it's inverse, and this is not inverse, it's entirely different derivatives. You can see the difference here. Same thing over here, sine inverse and cosecant inverse. Only thing is over here, it has, uh, oh, sine, uh, sorry, it's all inverse. Uh, you have to just use the formula and solve it up. Very simple. Sine inverse. Cosecant, you will have a negative sign. That's the thing. This is very simple. Cosecant inverse. Just write the formula. That's it. Nothing else over here. Okay. Over here, please remember to do the chain rule. And always remember, you can even do the shortcut calculator method to solve this as well. That's the end of the question number 15. And we have completed the part A in this point of time. Uh, 
please do stay tuned i will try my best to do the remaining videos as soon as possible and please do revise solve more problems practice more problems that's the most important thing and last request if you have not yet subscribed to my channel i do kindly ask you to subscribe to it it would mean so much to me and thank you for all those who are subscribed if you have any doubts regarding the questions, please post them in the comments. For that particular video, just post it below in the comments. I'll try to get back to you very soon. Not maybe on the same day, but I'll try to get back to you very soon. All the best, guys. Bye-bye for now.